Hello today's video we have the following content. Generals are no match for Lee, Kings are no match for Xi Yang, Strength is no match for Ba, and Fists are no match for Jin. Who is the last Jin? The martial arts world in ancient China is mysterious and legendary. There is a proverb called Generals are no match for Lee, Kings are no match for Xi Yang, Strength is no match for Ba, and Fists are no match for Jin, which makes countless explorers curious. Each of these names is a legend in the martial arts world, but the one that attracts the most attention is the last Jin. Who is he? Why is his boxing called unparalleled in the world? Jin Tai is a legendary boxing master. In the ancient martial arts world, although Jin Tai is not as famous as heroes such as Yu Fei and Lin Chong, his martial arts and legendary stories are equally attractive. In the Northern Song Dynasty, he was a martial arts genius. He was not only the master of Zhou Tong, but also the ancestor of Yu Fei and Lin Chong. Jin Tai's life and martial arts are legendary. Jin Tai's childhood was full of challenges. After his parents died, he was penniless and ventured into the complex and changeable world of rivers and lakes alone. Although life was difficult, he never gave up, but instead regarded these experiences as opportunities to hone himself. When he was a child, Jin Tai was thin, but his eyes were firm. He traveled around constantly looking for a master to learn martial arts. Once, he stopped in front of a martial arts hall in a small town. The owner of the hall was a middle-aged martial artist with strong martial arts skills. Jin Tai was fascinated by the sight and was discovered by the owner. The owner asked him, Little friend, do you like martial arts? Jin Tai nodded, his eyes full of expectation. The owner let him into the martial arts hall, so Jin Tai started his martial arts learning career here. In the martial arts hall, Jin Tai trained diligently, from basic punches and kicks to profound internal skills, he strived for perfection. He was very talented and mastered many difficult martial arts in a short period of time. Whenever night fell, other disciples were tired and fell asleep, only Jin Tai was still practicing silently in the moonlight until he was exhausted. Over time, Jin Tai's martial arts improved by leaps and bounds. He gradually became famous in the world, and some people came to challenge him specifically. Once, a burly man came to the martial arts hall and issued a letter of challenge to Jin Tai. The two men confronted each other on the playground. The big man attacked fiercely, while Jin Tai dodged flexibly and looked for opportunities to counterattack. In the end, the big man was knocked down by Jin Tai's clever blow and was convinced. Jin Tai made his way in the world, and his martial arts became more and more powerful, and he became more and more calm. He went to many places and met all kinds of people some of whom became friends with him, and some became his opponents. Jin Tai was polite to everyone, but at the critical moment, he would show extraordinary courage and wisdom. Jin Tai gradually realized that real martial arts is not about defeating opponents, but about self-cultivation and the improvement of mind. After a retreat in the mountains, his martial arts made a qualitative leap. His boxing became more restrained and profound, and every move contained philosophy. His boxing is the best in the world. Jin Tai is famous for his invincible boxing in the world. His boxing combines the strengths of many schools, including the toughness of Shao Lin and the agility of Wu Ding, and every move is natural and smooth. His martial arts are not only a way of fighting, but also a manifestation of spirit. Jin Tai knew that if he wanted more people to understand and respect his martial arts, he had to accept greater challenges. Jin Tai gritted his teeth and decided to fight in all 72 rings. Once the news came out, it caused a sensation in the martial arts world. Many people wanted to meet this boxing master, and many masters wanted to fight with him. Jin Tai's first stop was in a prosperous town on the Yangtze River. The center of the ring was crowded with spectators. Jin Tai was dressed in ordinary clothes. When he stepped onto the ring, his eyes were calm and his every move was confident. His first opponent was a well-known local master. After the competition, the opponent continued to attack fiercely. But Jin Tai used softness to overcome hardness, cleverly used footwork and moves, and finally fought back accurately to win. The audience was amazed, and Jin Tai's name became more famous. In every subsequent competition, Jin Tai showed extraordinary boxing skills. No matter how strong the opponent was, he could easily deal with it. Once, he fought with a strong man who was famous for his strength. That man was so strong that every punch seemed to be able to shake the mountain down, but Jin Tai was very flexible and easily dodged it. Then, when the opponent ran out of strength, he cleverly counterattacked and won again. Jin Tai's ring victories are increasing, and his reputation is spreading farther and farther in the world. Many people who once doubted him now admire him. Every game of Jin Tai can attract thousands of spectators. 
His martial arts is not just a contest of boxing and kicking, but also a display of spirit and will. In the later stage of Jinde's challenge, he met very powerful opponents. These people all have unique skills. Some are good at boxing and are extremely fierce, some are superb and amazing in swordsmanship. However, Jinde can always find the opponent's weaknesses and defeat them with clever boxing. Every victory of his is hard won, but it is these difficult challenges that show his spirit of not fearing difficulties and daring to challenge. Jinde became famous for challenging 72 ringmasters in a row. His boxing skills are unparalleled in the world, and his spirit has become a model for martial artists. Life is so rich. Jin Tai's life is full of legends. He has rich experience, unique personal charm and profound connotation. He was also a lay disciple of Shea Olim Temple, learned Shea Olim martial arts, and studied Buddhist thought. In Shea Olim Temple, he meditated with monks during the day and practiced boxing by himself under the moonlight at night. Although Jin Tai's days in Shea Olim Temple were simple, the monks admired his diligence and talent, and he felt that he lived a fulfilling life. After leaving Shea Olim Temple, Jin Tai's life changed. He became the bodyguard of Wang Anqi, a politician who made great changes and needed people with both force and wisdom to protect him. Beside Wang Anqi, Jin Tai not only used martial arts to protect the reformer, but also often participated in discussions on national affairs. His wisdom and insight made Wang Anqi admire him very much. During this period, Jin Tai saw clearly the changing political situation in the Northern Song Dynasty and understood how difficult it was to govern the country. When he was in the army, Jin Tai's martial arts and leadership skills were fully demonstrated. In the army, he was not only a brave warrior, but also a tactically smart man. In the war to pacify the South, Jin Tai made great contributions to the Song Dynasty because of his outstanding martial arts and military talent, and was named King of Pingnan. On the battlefield, the troops he led were always at the forefront and won many battles. In the evenings when he took a break from fighting, he would gather around the fire with the soldiers, tell them about his experience in fighting, and teach them some simple martial arts for self-protection. Jin Tai's experience in the army made him deeply aware of the meaning of life and death and honor and disgrace, which also made his martial arts more practical. He can not only fight one against two hundred, but also skillfully command thousands of troops. His martial arts are no longer as simple as personal skills, but a powerful tool for teamwork and tactical guidance. In Jin Tai's life, every choice was not easy, and there were challenges and opportunities. His versatility is not only reflected in his high martial arts, but also in his attitude towards life and his loyalty to the country. Whether he was practicing in Shea Olim Temple, serving as an assistant to Wang Anqi, or fighting hard in the army, Jin Tai used practical actions to prove the responsibility and commitment of a warrior. The story of Jin Tai is part of the legend of martial arts, and it can also be said to be a microcosm of Chinese history. His life experience reflects the multifaceted nature of ancient martial artists and the diversity of society and culture at that time. He is not only a martial arts master, but also a witness and participant of history. This is a very powerful person. Jin Tai's name is not as well known as Yu Fei and Lin Chong, but his influence in the martial arts world is not small. He is the ancestor of Yu Fei and Lin Chong. His martial arts ideas and skills have played a great role in the development of Chinese martial arts. In the martial arts world, Jin Tai's martial arts concepts and skills are very unique. His martial arts focus on both internal and external cultivation. Not only must he have strong skills and strength, but he must also have good temperament and spirit. He believes that a true martial artist must have a strong body, superb skills, tenacious and noble character. This concept has a great influence on Yu Fei and Lin Chong, making them martial arts heroes with strong martial arts and excellent moral character. Jin Tai's martial arts skills are also an important manifestation of his influence. His boxing style is both hard and soft, integrating the toughness of Shea Olin and the flexibility of Wu Ding, forming a set of boxing system that is both practical and beautiful. This system was later inherited and carried forward by Yu Fei and Lin Chong and became an important content for martial arts enthusiasts in later generations. Among the many martial arts schools, Jin Tai's boxing style is unique and his actual combat performance is efficient, which is highly praised by countless martial arts scholars and practical martial artists. Jin Tai's martial arts journey is very exciting. He is not only famous in the world, but also experienced the test of war and politics. These experiences made his martial arts more powerful and gave him more strategic vision and leadership. Jin Tai's experiences provided a lot of material for martial arts novels and film and television works in later generations, 
and influenced many people's imagination and understanding of the world of martial arts. Jin Tai has been pursuing martial arts and loving martial arts all his life. He is a part of traditional Chinese culture. His stories and ideas condense the essence of ancient Chinese martial arts culture, and also embody the traditional virtues of the Chinese nation's noble martial arts and internal and external cultivation. Jin Tai's story is not only passed on by word of mouth in the martial arts community, but also has an important position in Chinese culture. History of Song Dynasty records the history of Song Dynasty and is one of the 24 histories. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 